everybody. I'm Tasha with the Major Change Group. And today we're going to be talking about closing credit cards. So let me know in the comments, has a bank or credit union ever closed one of your credit cards? Or have you closed one of your credit cards? Let me know in the comments. And did it hurt your credit? <laughs> so I would say I've done both. So one, a few years ago, Bank of America closed not one, but two of my credit cards and didn't even let me know y'all. I was so upset about it because I had checked my account and then next thing you know, like the card, it wasn't there anymore. And I had got an email, but it all happened. It was either email or a text message and it happened like on the same day. So I thought something was going on. And so I called the bank. And they said, yes, they're closing that car. So they closed that car. And y'all, I had both of those cars over like 15 years. And so they had closed one. And really those Bank of America credit cards that I had, I really didn't use them like regular credit cards. You know how you have credit cards that you do different things with. So they didn't have a balance on it. And I probably hadn't used the cards probably like a year or something like that. And so... They closed one. <laughs> and then after that, you would have thought I had learned my lesson and I would have used the credit card utilization hack that I use now. But no, I didn't. And so for the second one, I didn't I didn't use that card either. And the next thing you know, they closed that one. And when they did that, I got so mad. I had um, <laughs> I stopped using Bank of America. So I don't use Bank of America anymore. And I had used Bank of America probably like 15 or 17 years, something like that. I don't know how long it was, but it was a long time. And so I was so mad. But uh, so, yeah, so I have had a bank close my credit card. But then also I have closed credit cards myself. So I want to say maybe like two years ago, I had closed the Chase Marriott Bonvoy. I closed that card and I really love Marriott. That's my favorite hotel. So I really wanted that credit card. And plus when I got it, it had 75,000 points on it. And so probably within a year after once the annual fee was coming up, I ended up closing it. <laughs> so I was just like, I'm not using that credit card. And so I closed it. So today I want to talk about what you should consider if you are thinking about closing a credit card or if a bank or credit union closes a credit card. First thing is, let's say if a bank might close your credit card. So you always want to make sure that your credit cards are in good standings because when we take a look at our credit score, our credit score is made up of five components. So we have our payment history, our credit utilization, our length of credit, our new credit, and our credit mix. So our length of credit is 15% of our credit score. So on the one hand, if you have low credit, a length of credit, then really you don't want to close credit cards. But let's say if you have a high length of credit, then you can consider it. And we'll talk about that a little bit more. But the thing is, if a bank or credit union closes your credit card, especially if you don't know that it's coming, then it can really impact your credit. Because like I said, if you have low length of credit and they close it, let's say if that's your only credit card, then that can mess up your length of credit. But then two, let's say you have high utilization on that credit card. And if they cut that card, then they're going to be cutting the limit. And then if you owe a lot on the credit card, then that's going to impact your credit utilization, but then also impact your length of credit. So those are some things to consider. So what I try to do is rotate my credit cards and let a balance of either two or 7% report to the credit bureau sort of show usage, because I really think that's the main reason that my Bank of America had closed the card because I would say it was in 2020. And you know, from 2020 till now, on and off, you hear about banks and credit card companies closing credit cards. Well, I had over 15,000 credit limits on both of those credit cards and I was not using the credit card. So, you know, most of the time they don't want to see a person be a liability for running up credit and things like that. And so possibly around that time, that's why they were closing credit cards, especially if the person wasn't using it. And that was in my case, I wasn't using the credit card, but it didn't have a balance on it. So I was still kind of upset about it because <laughs> I'm like, well, I wasn't using a credit card. And uh, 
So dang, why'd they have to close it? And I feel like if they would have sent me a letter, because I think it almost happened to my sister where they were going to close one of her Bank of America credit cards, but they sent her a letter and said, if you don't use a credit card within 30 days, then we're going to close it. But I didn't get one of those letters. They just closed it. Now, the second thing that we want to take a look at, so you want to check your credit. You want to check your length of credit to see where are you on your length of credit? Do you have one year of length of credit, three years, 10 years, 20 years, or so on? But then also you want to check your utilization to see, do I have high utilization on my credit cards? And a good point of reference for utilization on credit cards, I would say is 30% or lower, but really I would say under 10%. So the next thing you want to do, you want to take a look at all of your credit cards. Take a look at all the credit cards, see how long you've had those credit cards and what annual fees are on those cards. So what we want to do is we want to take a look at our credit cards. So I have 13 personal credit cards and one business credit card. And out of my 14 credit cards, six of those credit cards have annual fees on it. And I recently got two credit cards in January. So I had got the Hilton Honor Surpass and then I got the City Advantage Platinum credit card. And so for my City Advantage Platinum credit card, that's not going to have an annual fee. It's way for the first year. But y'all, I was taking a look at my credit cards. And I was like, oh my goodness. I actually have $712 in annual fees because the last time that I had took a look at it, I didn't add my Hilton honors. And so I was just like, whoa. And so I have $712 in annual fees. So it's like, for me, you know, that's kind of high, you know, for me. And I really need to take a look to see, are these credit cards serving me? And I want to give a shout out to John because in my last video, he had made a comment stating, taking a look at your credit cards and see like what credit cards are really serving you. And, you know, because I was talking about the American Express gold card, because, <laughs> you know, with that card having a $250 annual fee on it, you know, I'm more so of a low to no annual fee credit cards. And so, you know, 49, 99, 95, but once we get up to that 150 and that 250, I'm just like, I don't know about that. But I do have the American Express Gold Car and then I recently got that Hilton Honor Surpass. So, those have 250 and 150 dollar annual fees on there. And so, I haven't had the American Express Gold Car for a year yet. I've only had it a few, it's coming up on a year in June. So I'm really trying to consider for a year or two, do I want to keep it for a year or two? So as of right now, I think that I'm going to keep it. And then I have the flagship, I have the Sapphire um, Preferred card, the Southwest, and then I have the, the City Advantage. So when I look at these credit cards, I don't know, I'm kind of thinking about Maybe the Southwest, it is a good card, but on the one hand, I can still get points without having the card, you know, because I have the rapid rewards, so I don't necessarily have to have the credit card, so I don't know. I might consider closing it, but I'll have to wait until next year opposed to this year because I just recently paid my $69, and I believe at your anniversary year, they do add 3,000 rapid reward points. So, I mean, really, that's pretty much equivalent to maybe, what, like $30 or something like that. So, I guess you can say that that kind of helps. So, I'll have to see. And that's the thing. You want to take a look at your credit cards to see what credit cards are serving you. You know, I even take a look at my other credit cards. But for me, if the credit card doesn't have an annual fee on it, I'm okay with it. So, most of the time, I don't close those cards. For me, I'm usually only going to close a card that has an annual fee on it. So you'll have to take a look at that. But then also, you know, when you take a look at your credit score, y'all know I really love Experian. And so Experian has the score ingredient. And so on the score ingredient, it's going to give you a breakdown on how you're doing on your score with the five components. So, you know, with the payment history and the length of credit. And so once you click on the length of credit, it'll tell you your average age of your accounts and then your oldest 
account that you open and y'all <laughs> once you start opening up credit cards your average age is going to go down and go down and go down and so i'm just like wow but here is telling you for a high achiever to have a average age of accounts of nine years that's gonna be the best but so you have to consider i would say you know nine years or anything over five years so for me if i have a average age of probably like three years or something like that i'm probably not gonna close credit cards you see what i'm saying and so you can see here where it says time since your oldest account was open and so for high achievers it said 25 years on average but i feel like with the average age that's where it's gonna be so really take a look at that always go over to the experience i love the experience site because they have so much information and i love the score ingredient and so when you're taking a look at your credit cards you know your length of credit is going to be 15 percent of your credit score so that's why for me i'm not necessarily worried if i close a a car because i know i have a high my average age is nine years right now but technically if i was to close a credit card it would make my average age go up because that credit card wouldn't be there so i think those are some things to consider when you are wanting to possibly close a credit card and like i was saying in the beginning take a look at a credit card utilization hack because with the credit card utilization hack you can rotate your credit cards or you can have small reoccurring charges on your credit cards so that they'll show usage and then what happens is you can let what two or seven percent report to the credit bureau but then after it reports to the credit bureau then pay the credit card off so that you don't pay any interest on the credit card but you'll have to check out that video where i go into details on how to use a credit card utilization hack because for me i don't believe that you have to pay interest on credit cards to keep credit cards really you just have to make sure that you are reporting usage to the credit bureau but then paying it off so check out that video and i think that the credit card utilization hack is great so let me know what do you think about closing credit cards have you closed a credit card has a bank or credit union closed a credit card and how are you looking on your annual fees and i'm gonna take a look and see about possibly closing that southwest credit card with chase but it'll probably be next year if i do it i don't know that that card is serving me anymore and last year i had closed the chase ihg premier credit card because that one had an 89 dollars annual fee and i really wasn't using it and so i downgraded it but not every card has a card that you can downgrade to a no annual fee card so you'll have to take that into consideration as well but i hope that this video was helpful please like subscribe share with a friend but turn your notification bell on so you'll be notified when new content drops i thank you so much for watching until next time it's not a game, sir.